In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use keyframes with text on CapCut. All right, so with keyframes, you can change the position of the text. You can make the text move along the screen. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. With other programs, you can do a lot more, but CapCut is limited to just moving the text. So, so here is how you do it. You create your text by typing on text and then you tap on add text. So I'm just going to type people because there are people here. And I'll tap on this. Next, I'll tap on style to just change the style. Canvas, I'll make it black so that the background of the text can be black. And I'll just increase a few of these things so that uh, it looks good enough. And that's all. So with keyframes, like I said, you can decide to move the position of the text and you can also make the text big or small. So to start doing it, you tap on the clip for the text this is it down here and then you tap on this button here to create a new keyframe and you decide how fast you want the effect to happen so for this i want the text to zoom in and uh, i want it to happen pretty fast so for that to happen you have to make sure the keyframes are very close to each other so i think around here i'll create a second keyframe and uh, yeah so this is the distance between the two keyframes and it's not that much so at this point i'm going to increase the size of the text by pinching out this way so now if i head over to the beginning of the text or the whole video and i give it a play so you see the text zooms in or scales in well if you don't want the effect to happen too quickly then you have to increase the distance between the points so i'm going to move a bit forward and then i'm going to add a new point here now this new point already has the text zoomed in so you don't have to adjust the text anymore and then I'm going to delete this old one. Now if I give it a play, you'll see that uh, it takes a while before the text gets bigger. So essentially all you're doing is you're telling the app to gradually increase the size of the text as it approaches this point. So that's how keyframes work really. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'll change the position of the text. Now the only problem with um, CapCut is that it doesn't allow the text to go entirely out of the frame. So just goes halfway out so you just have to work with that so what this means is at this point the text should be in this position and then when it gets to this point it should bring itself to the middle and get big but if you don't want it to be this big then you can just readjust it to be smaller so essentially this is what is going to happen so the text goes from here to here you can decide to move it all the way out to the end and um, yeah, you can make it stay here for a while. So by doing that, you create a new keyframe. This new keyframe will keep the position of the text. And then when you go to the end, you create a new keyframe and then you move the text all the way to the other side. But like I said, you cannot go outside the frame. So let's give it a play. So you must have noticed that um, between this keyframe and this keyframe, the text did not move. And that's because both of them are keeping the text in the middle. But then this keyframe is taking the text to this part. So from here to here, the text will make its way from this point to this point. If I delete this one, you'll see that the text doesn't even stay in the middle. It just keeps going so that means we don't even need this one so what's happening here is that we are telling CapCut that at this point the text should be in this position but as the video approaches this other position the text should find its way to this point so that's all we are doing and like I said you can also increase the size and reduce it if you want so basically that's how you use keyframes on CapCut for text like i said the capabilities of CapCut are not that great yet so i'm sure in the future they will bring up more features so yeah if you have questions leave them in the comments and yeah i'll be seeing you guys in the next video